This is New Day Northwest. Now from the premiere of Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning. Welcome to New Day Northwest. Holiday breaks and weekends during the winter season can often mean a house full of crazy kids and teenagers, but parents, Parent Map's new book called 52 Seattle Adventures with Kids has a whole winter section of great ideas for indoors and out. Here with more is Parent Map's Elisa Murray. It's so good to see you. How are you doing? Good. How are so you? So you were just pointing out to me that this book, which is very cool and easy to, you know, it's not like a tome. You can go <laughs> through this pretty easily. You edited part of this. Mm -hmm. Many, many writers contributed. Right. How did that affect the book? I think it made it a much stronger book because 19 different writers um, who were associated with Parent Map contributed to the book. So each one has a certain expertise, like maybe in hiking or camping or indoor adventures. So it makes it a much stronger book than if I had written the whole thing. That is so cool. And you said you, you wanted to do something that had been missing for you when you needed it. Yeah, well when my, so I have one son, he's now nine, and when he was two, I started working as an editor at Parent Map which is the region's top resource for Puget Sound parents. And I edited over the course of five years about hundreds of articles and things to do with kids. And I learned so much from editing them. I, yeah. And so I wanted to put it together in a season by season guidebook that would help parents find nearby and affordable adventures, often that might just take like half a day. So it was the kind exactly. of guidebook I was looking for when it my son was very young. It didn't cost a ton and were maybe things right. that you hadn't already heard of. And by the way, I mean, it's a great book for grandparents, aunts and uncles, people who have, you know, kids in their lives. It doesn't have mm -hmm. to be a parent. But let's go through some of the things. Holiday fun without breaking the bank. We're, you know, kind of on the cheap. Let's talk about those. Right. Um, reindeer selfies with Swanson's. <laughs> Tell us about this. Well, Swanson's Nursery, which is in Ballard, is such a fabulous destination during the holidays. They have something called the Reindeer Festival. So you can go there, you can meet two live reindeer, you can learn about them in daily reindeer presentations, and they also have a model train set up, and also great little gifties, and a wandering Santa Claus on certain days as well. I think that sounds, uh, just that picture of the little one fascinated by the right. reindeer, that's pretty great. Seattle Center's Winterfest. So that's another great indoor destination, which I know is good for days like this. Yeah, um, I mean, we've had some of that nasty rain that's sideways. Right. And you need an indoor. Yeah, station. so in the armory, they have performances every weekend. Um, they also have ice skating in Fisher Pavilion, and they also <laughs> have a great model train setup. My son used to love going there and looking at it, and you can line up to actually run the model train. So it's really fun for wow. small kids. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Snowflake Lane in Bellevue, which. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I like it as an adult. Right. I think you have to be a kid to enjoy this. It's really, really fun. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a, that's a nightly show on the sidewalks around Bell Square. And they have live tin soldiers, and they have dancers, and music, um, and Santa. And that's a good one to go on the week weeknights in particular, if you can swing it. I think it's yeah. less crowded. It's less crowded, but it's fun anytime, and that's totally free. Botanical Garden Delights. Right, every year the Bellevue Botanical Garden, which is Look a great this. indoor, I'm sorry, a, a great daytime destination as well for walks. Right. But um, they have this wonderful light show every holiday season. It's very affordable. It's only $5 for adults and um, free for kids 10 and under. And it's, it's really terrific and to I walk around the And I promise kids will love those. Yeah. And adults, yeah. Okay, let's talk <laughs> about walk on ferry adventures because mm -hmm. this is, you can get someplace and have fun at the same time. The ferry to Bremerton, which is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, that's, they have a fast ferry option. I think that might be, yeah, fast ferry, 30 minutes, and then also you can take the regular, I think it's 50 minute ferry ride. That's, that's one of And I there's, like. yeah, there's so much to do. And it's fun just to take the ferry, of course, for kids, journey is the, Des the yep. destination is the journey, journey's the destination. Um, and then once you get there, there's a naval warship to tour, there's a free naval museum, you can walk downtown, and it's all very compact and um, easy to access. It's beautiful scenery and they have great snacks. Yep. I love snacks. <laughs> um, snacks so the USS good. Turner Joy and the Free Navy Museum, mm -hmm. that's what you're referring to? Yeah. Exploring downtown? Okay, let's talk about urban hikes. Urban hikes, yeah. So I think you know people often think that hiking is more of a summer. Um, thing to do, but in the winter there's so many great lowland hikes around and many are even in the city and just to get the kids outside and running around right. really helps let off steam. So um, in the city there's a lot of kind of these little 
pocket green spaces. A wonderful one in South Seattle is Lake Ridge Park. It's mm -hmm. also called Dead Horse Canyon. Which I think and is very cool. What yeah. kid doesn't want to go to Dead right. Horse Canyon? You can walk along a trail and go over a bridge. You should always check to make sure about the condition of the trail, but that's a really nice one. And there's also a, some nice um, little hikes, we refer to these in the book, that have kind of warm-up opportunities. So Mercer Slough is such a great destination. There's a lookout tower that you can get a key from a ranger to climb up and look out over the wetlands. And there's wetland hikes, and there's an environmental education center where you can also just explore and learn. That's and if great. it's windy, you can just go there. Yeah, and just wear your boots and you're all, you're all good. What about exactly. um, the watershed and the Squally Refuge? Yeah, so Nisqually Refuge is a fantastic destination. It's really close to I-5, so if you're headed south, you can just hop off. It's um, <laughs> I like the just way you think. Yeah. <laughs> Easy to get to, places to warm up, snacks. Exactly. <laughs> it's near Olympia, and they have wonderful boardwalk trails and fantastic bird watching, and it's accessible all year round. Sounds good. You also list some quirky winter tours, and honestly, I didn't know about any of these things, um, well, except for the stadium tours, but let's right. start with Wolf Haven. So Wolf Haven is a, is a um, wolf sanctuary down in Tonino, and you can take uh, tours of their sanctuary. Now, it's, it's not promised that you'll see a wolf, um, but I, I've, I've heard that sometimes in the winter when there's less foliage, you might have more of a chance. And you can just look at their website and, and reserve a tour in the yeah. winter, and they're pretty open. And then there's lots of learning around that yeah. that would be fun to do with your kids. Exactly. There is a Sunday ice cream cruise from Lake Union year-round, and how I've missed this, I have no idea. <laughs> right. Yep, it's, it's from Lake Union. It's also affordable. I think you can even take your dog. And, really? Yep. And they have them, I think, several times a day on the weekends. And you can also get your ice cream or your hot drink and you know, get a peek at a bunch of different sites along Lake Union. I think that sounds great. Great for um, company that you might have where there are kids from Absolutely. out of town. And then you can take a stadium tour, either at CenturyLink mm -hmm. or over at Safeco or whatever we're going to now call Safeco. Yep. Yeah, that can, that can be a lot of fun to do. And How do you arrange that? Um, I think you go to their website and there's different ways to arrange it for, for each one. And that's so cool because if kids get to go to the stadium, mostly it's for a game. So yeah. the chance to see it and at really, another. And really learn. I, th I think um, you, there's walking involved. So yes, again, good involved. for exercise, but just They'll have a nap after that. Right. Okay. <laughs> so destination libraries. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Gosh, those. Well, the Seattle area has so many wonderful libraries. And of course, you know, they have children's sections, they have readings, um, a lot of different things you can do. So, um, so as part of the Seattle library system, a really uh, wonderful one is the Beacon Hill Library. Mm -hmm. It's near the light rail station. It's shaped like a boat, <laughs> and, wow. and there are wonderful librarians who can suggest different reads. You can check out the story time. For your Harry Potter fans, you can stop by the Suzlow Library on the University of Washington campus, and they might actually think it's Hogwarts if you, you go kidding? to the reading room. Oh, I'm so yes. into this. That would be great. That would be a wonderful one um, for me. Now, the Renton Library is built over the Cedar River, it so is. that's a cool destination That is a cool well. destination, and that's another one to save also for the fall when you can sometimes even see salmon in the river from the library. How amazing. So. Do you have any favorites? Was there something you discovered in the book that you just really had no idea about and loved? Well, lots of things. Like, for example, um, the Ballard Library, where we had gone many times, there's actually a rooftop garden and there's a, um, I think it's called a periscope where you can look and see that. And I hadn't realized that until yeah. editing the book. And then, so next time we went, we, we, we looked at that. So many things. Such a good point because you can live here for a long time and think you know pretty much where everything is, but there's always something more right. to discover. And the yeah. book is great for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We are going to link to our website, the adventures we talked about today, and also where you can buy this great book. Coming up next, our Wellness Wednesday begins with the latest treatment offering hope to stroke patients. Back after this.